Hi, welcome back to the Curious Giraffe Show. You see, we have a new Curious Giraffe up front, and you know George. And Jeanette and her friends are all in the back today. They're watching from over there. But we all know this song, so everybody can sing along. Here we go. When we sing together, I feel so much better. It's easy. giraffe. This is our youngest giraffe, new to the Curious Crew. Yes, but I've been watching the show and waiting to be big enough to be on the show. <laughs> well, today's the day. What are we going to read today? Well, today you'll be the Curious Giraffe we sing to, and we'll find out. Here we go with the Curious Giraffe song. Here we go. Giraffe looked over at Dorothy and said, I'm curious what book and song she'll share with us today. Little pig saves the ship, hooray! And we'll share it under one big sky, oh yes. Share one big sky, share one big sky. Give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different and we know we can all share and we can all care we're different but we all belong we're different but we all belong so let's get right to it because we have lots to do little pig saves the ship by david hyde costello i hope you recognize that name because we've read his books before Look at the first picture. See how busy all the brothers and sisters are. Little Pig wished he could go sailing to sailing camp with his brothers and sisters. This is going to be the best summer yet. When the seafaring pigs go sailing. I'm bringing my camera. I'm bringing my guide to aquatic life in case we see any. But he was too little. Now look at this picture. Tiny, the oldest, had been to sailing camp five summers in a row. He gave Little Pig his book of sailor's knots and a piece of rope. Carry this in your pocket so you can practice in your spare time. You'll be old enough next summer. See you in a week. Have fun. I'll send you a postcard. Poor little pig. On the first day without his brothers and sisters, look how hard he worked. Followed the directions in the book. Little Pig had a lot of spare time. He learned how to do it. Grandpa and Poppy came over that night to show Little Pig the beautiful ship Poppy had started making for him. Tomorrow we can finish building her together. On Sunday, Little Pig sewed the sails. 
Poppy carved a little poppy and a little pig to sail the ship. And in the morning we'll sail her in the stream. See the little details that they're working on. They sh sailed the ship on Monday. Perfect spot. The sails work, Poppy. And on Tuesday. Sea Monster, four points off the port bow. Ready, about. And even in the rain on Wednesday. Batten down the hatches. On Thursday, they built a dock. The sailors can rest here and take on provisions, food and drink and supplies. On Friday, they sailed the ship all the way across the stream. Those sails really do work well. But on Saturday, a gust of wind blew the ship into the current. Uh-oh, it's headed for the waterfall. Uh-oh. Little Pig waded in to grab the ship. But the water was too deep for him. Don't worry, Little Pig. I'll get her. You stay on land. It's slippery here. And, whoa, splash, whoopsies. Oh dear, where are my glasses? Little pig saw a fallen tree. If he laid it across the stream, it would stop the ship. But he couldn't lift it. I can still catch her, I think. Little Pig ran ahead of the current that carried the ship downstream. Gulp! Maybe he could grab the ship as it sailed under the bridge. His arm was too short. He'd never be able to reach the ship. Then he remembered Tiny's rope in his pocket. I've almost got it. You did it! Little Pig saved the ship. When they got back to Little Pig's house, everyone was home from camp. So I tied a bowline knot and used it to catch the ship. Quick thinking, little pig. You have the instincts of a sailor. Wow. We saw dolphins. Wait till you see the pictures. And hear the new sea chanties. By the way, I meant to mail you this. Little pig still wished he could go sailing with his brothers and sisters. And the next day he did. Nice ship, little pig. Look at her go. Let's come here every day. This is going to be the best summer ever. So, I was very impressed with Little Pig learning how to tie a bowline knot, so I decided to go back into the book and see if I could learn it. So I'm going to remind you where the directions are. And I'm going to tell you, honestly, 
This took me a few times before I got it right. I'm going to try again with you. And if ever you can get this book from for yourself, you will tie one too. Okay, so it has a part that goes up and he makes a loop. And he pokes this part up through the loop and then around the back of the up part and down let's see down here through here did I get it right I might have to try it more than oh I missed okay so we have to try again I wish I could show you the book at the same time but it's a little hard okay so I'm gonna make the loop and come up and around the back and down through and over here that's what I did wrong now I'm going to pull it tight there that time it worked phew that took me several tries it still takes me to practice so but I finally got it to come out with a nice loop that could hook onto something that you needed. So, I was also very impressed with how they made their own boat. And that's why I have this big tub of water here. Because I had fun designing a boat out of things I had at our house. So, I'm going to show you the little boat I made. And I made it, I'm going to show you, I cut it from a styrofoam vegetable tray. And I'm going to take it apart so you can see how I made it. These pieces came out of here. And I put little slits in them so they could fit together. into a little propeller and then I stretched a rubber band across the sides and I slipped the propeller in so that it holds it. Now you'll see that little hole was I had to cut it a little bigger so that it could turn. And so we're gonna you have to turn it toward yourself. I learned that. So we're going to count to ten. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Make it nice and tight. I'm going to try to tip the camera up so you can see. Watch it go in the water. Ready? There you go. Ooh, and if you had that in a bathtub or on a stream or lake, it would go much farther. So I invite you to try that at home. It was fun. And I thought, what other toys could we make? So I looked around and I found a yogurt tub poked a hole in it. You might need help from a grown-up or a bigger person to help you safely poke a hole, but just make it small and then force in your pencil. See how the pencil has a little point? I used a colored pencil and then I took markers and drew colors on it. I don't know if you can see that. Sort of see-through. And now I'm going to spin it. Can you see it? It's working. I'm so excited. It didn't work the first time. There. So that's another thing you could make at home. So I have songs about trying new things. And my friend Katie Tolls wrote a, a fun song. And she made it to go, can you stretch like a giraffe? Can you stretch like a giraffe? Try it, try it. Or fly like a bird, 
fly like a bird, try it, try it. So when I read this book about little pig trying new things, I wanted to sing her song about little pig. So this is what inspired me. Can you learn something new? Can you learn something new? Can you learn something new? Try it, try it, learn something new. Can you learn something new? Can you learn something new? Try it, try it, learn something new. Can you make something new? Can you make something new? Can you make something new? Try it, try it, make something new. Can you make something new? Can you make something new? Try it, try it, make something new. Can you play outdoors? Can you play outdoors? Can you play outdoors? Try it, try it, play outdoors. Can you play outdoors? Can you play outdoors? Try it, try it, play outdoors. Can you play pretend? Because Little Pig and Poppy kept adding to their, their game, didn't they? Can you play pretend? Can you play pretend? Try it, try it, try, try, play pretend. Can you play pretend? Can you play pretend? Try it, try it, try doing more pretend. So this book really inspired me. And I have another song that we've done before, so I'm hoping you'll be able to sing along with Dave Canoy's song about I Think I Can. Here it goes. I think I can, so I'll try it. I'm on my way. The moment I say I think I can, so I'll try it. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. I like trying things I never tried before just to see what I can do. It may look hard, it often does, but I'll take my chances just because I think I can. So I'll try it, I'm on my way. The moment I say I think I can, so I'll try it. Such an exciting song, knowing what you can do if you just try it. Love that song. Okay, now I was also thinking about how Little Pig was concerned about having to wait and wait to do things as he got older. Sometimes it's hard to wait for the things that are coming, but there's something really good about each age. So, here's the song I wrote about that. I'm young and strong and quick and fast. I'm sure that it will always last. Ha, ha, ha. Love retirement, so the spiral. 
and as it's down, the cycles they go round and round. Children come with great big hugs. I'm slower now, but I have loved. So the spiral dance goes on, whichever part we're on. So enjoy it, whichever part we're on. All right. And amazingly, I think the time is running out again. But our new friend will help us sing us out. Keep singing, keep looking up, keep asking questions, and never give up. Keep singing, keep looking up, keep asking questions and never give up. Keep singing, keep looking up. Keep asking questions and never give up. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Can you learn something new? Can you learn something new? Try it. Try it. Learn something new. Can you learn something new? Can you learn something new? Try it. Try it. Learn something new. Can you make something new? Can you make something new? Can you make something new? Try it. Try it.